Tropical Storm Ian begins rapid intensification. Tropical Storm Ian is beginning its phase of rapid intensification currently at 16.7 degrees north and exactly 80 degrees west. Currently with a wind speed of 60 miles an hour and a central pressure of 991, Ian is moving to the west-northwest at 12 miles an hour or 19 kilometers an hour as well. Once again, we remain code red on t coast with a storm that's beginning rapid intensification currently with 60 miles an hour winds reported. Uh, as of now, the wind fields remain relatively small with only the northeastern quadrant having tropical storm force winds extending to 30 nautical miles outwards. Once again, warnings and watches are in effect and they are as follows. A hurricane warning in Gran Cayman as well as the Cuban provinces of Isla del Juventud, Piena del Rio and Artemisa. Tropical storm warning in effect for the Cuban provinces of La Habana, Mayabec and Matanzas as well as a tropical storm watch in effect for the locations scrolling by on your screen right about now. This system is currently 464 miles away from Havana, 549 from Key West, 622 from Miami, 787 from Tampa and 818 from Orlando. Once again, that's 747 kilometers away from Havana, 883 from Key West, 1001 from Miami, 1267 from Tampa, and 1316 kilometers away from Orlando. The four latter uh, being in Florida and Havana being in Cuba. So maximum sustained winds, like I said, we are going with 60 miles an hour. However, this storm is beginning rapid intensification. AMSU and ADT low balling with 40 miles an hour, SACON going with 55, and ourselves agreeing with the A with ATCF and the NHC currently at 60 miles an hour. So here's the cone from the National Hurricane Center as of advisory 11A. As you can see, hurricane and tropical storm warnings are in effect for Cuba as well as Grand Cayman and tropical storm watches are also in effect for a few surrounding areas, including Key West. Sea surface temperatures remain relatively warm for this system, as is aiding its rapid intensification phase. Uh, I believe if I'm reading that right, that's 28 to 30 degrees, as well as storm force winds really extending out. Of, if you're in the western part of Cuba, you practically have a 90 to 100% chance of storm force winds. However, even extending as far out as South Carolina with a 5 to, well, sorry, a 10 to 20 percent chance of uh, storm force winds but when it comes to hurricane force winds you've got at least a 10 to 20 percent chance in the panhandle of the florida panhandle i should pronounce that as but you've got a much higher chance of 40 to 50 percent chance on the west coast of cuba as well bringing over to the multimodal diagnostics they expect real uh, strengthening from the system which could be what the system what the storm is doing right about now uh, it's got a brief period of time before it does that though, before shear hits really high uh, speeds. Sea surface temperatures remain way more than favorable for this system, all the way up until a possible landfall as well. So as you can see, this system is beginning its phases of rapid intensification with massive blobs of convection blowing up right about there, as you can see on satellite as well. Residents in the path of this system need to begin preparations if they haven't done so already.